Right, so at long last, we have Wout Van Aert's power data. Now, this is a bit of a leak based on Strava. He unprivated all of his data for like a bit, and some of my boys sorted me out. So this is thanks to Yusuf, who really sorted me out with this, and also Gabe Dell, who sent it to me as well. Um, so anyway, we've got just sort of one second, 10 second, 30 second, and all the rest of it. So one second, 1800 watts. I'll also quote him watts per kilo, which is assuming he's like 78, which I think is what people say he is. Like 23 watts per kilo for one second. 10 seconds, 1500, like, again, pretty solid. I believe these are probably, like, rounded figures because, you know, they're not to the exact thing, but nonetheless, a rough ballpark. 10 seconds, 19, so pretty good as well. 30 seconds, 1250, a minute, 990. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. A minute and 990 is, um, I haven't really seen many people go much more who aren't pure track sprinters. For reference, that's 12.7 watts per kilo. Three minutes at 700 watts, so you know when you did that 600 watts for, three, for like, three minutes in the tour, or no, sorry, it was two minutes at 700 watts. That probably is about right. That's the sort of drop off you'd expect in a in a race. Again, that's like almost nine watts per kilo for three minutes. So that is, that's not a crazy watts per kilo for like a skinny climber, let alone like a big boy. Um, and then five minutes, 600 watts. Again, like sort of what you expect, like Gannon does that, but Gannon's obviously a lot heavier. So it's still like 7.7 watts per kilo, which is crazy. Um, his 20 minute is sort of like, still cr good but it's it's more predictable like it's it goes down to like six watts per kilo 6.1 which is obviously still ridiculously strong and when you're doing 480 watts you don't climb the same as if like a 60 kilo guy is doing 6.1 watts per kilo you climb a lot faster an hour um is also really strong which is 5.8 watts per kilo for an hour so super super strong um but anyway has he done now effort again so it's hard to tell though the the lower ones you always think they probably have done an effort similar to that Anyway, next we're going to go through some of his numbers. So, actually, sorry, this is, this is Wout Van Aert's numbers. This is sort of the highlights. So, the Tour of Britain 2021 stage, which was the last climb. So, that was up great Orm. Um, he did 7.35 watts per kilo for five minutes, which is 566. That's crazy. And then at the end, of, I guess, did 6.30 for three minutes, 8.15. Crazy numbers. Um, the Von 2 stage, he did, like, basically, what, 4.9 for the first one. For an hour which is pretty strong and then 5.4 for the last hour and obviously like that sounds good but like you think if kenny ellisond he's probably having to do like 5.7 5.8 to compete because he's so small and that's probably why he ended up getting dropped so those waspy kilos sort of like don't show always the full picture with heavier riders Paranese tt 465 for 16 again super super strong uh world's tt so actually we'll see what weight yusuf has him in because i think um he might have him as a little bit. Oh, yeah, he is 77. So, yeah, a little bit. Basically the same way as I have, like, 77, 78. World's TT, which Ganna beat him by, like, 10 seconds. He did 450. That's a lot. But probably not as much as Ganna's doing. Ganna's probably doing, like, 470, I reckon, for that. So, Joe goes to show he has probably a bit more error than Ganna, which makes sense. But a little bit lighter, a little bit shorter, I think, as well. But that might just be me inventing that. Maybe he's not shorter. But he seems shorter and not as broad. Ganna TT... Sorry, the Terrain of TT where he beat Ghana 500 for 10 almost. That's ridiculous. Um, and it, Olympics one was actually interesting. He actually paced it quite well because it looked like no one paced it well except Roglic. But actually, he did pace it pretty well. 400, then 397. But I reckon with the 397, it's probably like he paced it okay but didn't go as hard on the climb. So lost more time than he expects. And then the Belgian national champs hit 1657 at the end of the, like, probably 260k. So, big numbers. Uh, I've gone through that pretty quickly. Um, so, obviously, just like pause if you want to have a look, a little look at the numbers longer. What does it show? I don't think it shows too much, to be honest. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but you can sort of estimate what, what Spaghetto they're doing from the climbs. Like, I mean, it's still ridiculous. Like, there's no, there's no doubt about it. I think it, the biggest thing for me is that it shows how much of a well-rounded athlete he is. Like, if we go back to this slide, those numbers are really good on, like, every single one like they're just stupid like especially like obviously one to five minutes is like why i'd say it's the most stupid but you know the 20 minutes is still really good and the one second 10 second is also really good so it does show super well-rounded athlete and um yeah crazy crazy numbers anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one